I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to meddle with time and your imagination. Huh? <laughs> what? So they caught me. Everyone must think I'm crazy. I don't think I if I can talk my way out of this one, but I've got to try. So I was the one hugging that that mannequin at the end. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm crazy. Don't worry, Rick. I want to help you. See, the other two guards are nearly catatonic. I can't get a word out of them. But you, you seem fine, other than your outlandish claims. Come on, tell me what really happened. No disrespect, Detective Griffin, but I told you the truth. And if you don't let me go, the next security guard is going to suffer the same fate as the first two guards. Huh? Yes. Send officers to the mall for the night shift. No. I don't know. Look, something suspicious is going on. That should buy me some time. Now how do I get out of here? Hmm, the windows are barred. Taxi? And a taxi number. This is Detective David Griffin. I'm on a strange case involving some security guards who went mad. One is normal. Two may be coincidence, but three is a clear pattern. I almost got mad myself, guys. But I have experience in this. I've seen some pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> so I wasn't affected by them, by those mannequins. But uh, those guards, they aren't as fortunate as me. They are now crazy, man. The case files. I sat down to talk with the first two guards, but their eyes were wild, staring into the distance. The third guy, Rick Rogers, is different. He claims he saw ghosts. He even gave me his business card, claiming the mall manager hired him to investigate the first two guards. Yeah, that's me. Eyes and ghost. I always suspected that mall manager, Ethan Harris, was involved in some shady business, but I never had any evidence. Seems like that's changed. I talked to Rogers for a few hours, and honestly, everything he said sounded crazy. Ethan Harris, is that the one with the shape shifting ability? The one who called me in the end. Is he the one? Hours. Hey, Mo Nemo, welcome. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you very much. Hours. The watch. Does he really expect me to believe in mannequins coming alive or a car attacking people? I've spoke to the mall staff and they all remarked Mr. Harris has changed recently. They all said the same thing. Sometimes his face looked like a mask. I'm gonna interrogate Rogers one more time. I hope I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, the one with the mask. The shifting mask. Yeah, that was also the end of the demo. Yeah, hugging the mannequin there at the end. <laughs> that was pretty memorable. And the mask. Sleeping mask. File cabinet key. Oh! New objective, find Ethan Harris' address. 
maybe there's an entry here in the cabinet. You can also call the taxi, guys. We got the taxi number. <laughs> I think we should call it right now. <laughs> Don't want to lose any time. It does take time. Missing buttons. Cannot fit through the bars. I know that is going to be a problem, isn't it? We got some metal bars. Can we get a car jack? That's what we usually use. Nothing like it here inside the office. Hmm. There's something useful inside the compartment. Don't have enough weights. There's a scale pan though. Okay, balancing the two sides. Drag the weights onto the scales pans and arrange them so the pans are balanced. Like this. Bingo! File the bars. That's what we will do. Case files. About the two gods before me, so it was Double Faced who drove them mad. This is the third more security guard to go mad this week. It has to be more than a coincidence. The first two, Philip Johnson and Lucas White, were questioned and taken to a specialized medical institution. Poor guards. The third victim, Rick Rogers, claims to be in his right mind, but I'm not so sure. Just like the other security guards. He raves about mannequins come to life and other strange things. I want to re-interrogate him. Detective David Griffin. Ethan Harris, 113 Grand Street. I need to add more emotes. Yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> yeah, more emotes got a special batch. Right next to the name. I really like that one. The one with the lollipop? It's like holding a microphone. <laughs> okay, now we fire the boss. Call the taxi! Use the phone here. Yeah, I lost my cell phone, guys. <laughs> Can we call the taxi from here? Uh, are we not done? Wait. Huh? There is see the phone bu The phone buttons! Where is the phone? Wow, there are like three bonus items here on the screen. Okay, there's the phone. We have to call the taxi. So, we need to tell them the address when we called. Oh, I didn't know. Really? <laughs> Yeah, so like Uber, huh? They need to know the address beforehand. I've never called a taxi before, guys. I didn't. I don't know. I have no experience. <laughs> I made it. Now to find a way inside. Okay, very stylish mannequin, right at the front. Stop scaring me like that, and this way I won't make it to the next case. Okay, she's holding a poison apple. The evil queen, that's what she is. A very, very nice apartment. Look at this. It's a house. It is a huge place. Wow. Need a remote control to open the garage door. Uh, a house key. Okay, looks like we can go inside. Mm. 
I'm like a cat with nine lives. I wonder how many I've got left. New objective, examine the house. And he's only a mall manager, guys. A mall manager? I, Yeah, how much do they earn in real life? <laughs> I don't think they can afford this place. Crazy. Oh, the cage is way too small for you. Poor bird, look at the size of the cage. <laughs> he can't even move his he can't even extend his wings inside this cage. The complete collection. What are they? Are they animals? Yeah, there's an elephant picture there on the first one. Broken dream catcher. To finish the dream catcher, I'll need feathers, beads, and a net. Metal leaf. Mailbox decoration. Okay, that's a save. Was there a mailbox outside the house? Oh, there is a mailbox. I forgot. <laughs> So, the dove. There are two doves on top of the mailbox. Arthur Novak, the owner of the antiquity shop, helped Ethan in his search for the mask. Hello, Mr. Harris. I know we haven't had much success in our search for the mask so far, but I think we are getting close. For now, please accept this small gift from my antiquity shop. I'm, it's a pleasure to work with you. Best regards, Arthur Novak. I think he got the mask already. He is wearing one already. Yeah, he got one in the end. The shape-shifting mask. <laughs> Can start retirement planning. <laughs> uh, beads. Those for the dream catcher. We need feathers, beads, and a net. Okay. I think the middle one is a rabbit? The coin? Ancient coin. Oh, that is slot number three. So what's the one in the middle? Can't tell what that is. It's not the leaf. Is it the leaf? I don't think so. Uh, the cage. Requires a handle, not the leaf handle. <laughs> no, yeah, he got a ring. So the safe is opened by three different rings, three different color rings. Okay. The apple and the golden leaf. Ancient soldier. Oh, that's the one. The one in the middle. Whoa. A mask? Arrange the beads on the ends of the ropes so they match the beads at the other end. And select the right and left arrows to move the slider. Select the up arrow to swap the beads with the ones above the slider. How does it work again? Okay, swapping two beats at a time. Uh, the orange one.
Wait, what? They, yeah, the end, the end of the ropes, some of them have two different kind of beats. One, two... Oh, they go together, okay. As a group, the one with two beats. Okay, let me see here, guys, hold on.